So this is the ditty of Carmiana. Someone in chat said, Vinny, am I crazy or have you played this game already? I did. Eight years ago. It is now complete and on Steam. And by the way, I have a number of Steam keys for this game that I'm going to raffle off. Maybe... I don't know how I'm going to raffle them off. I don't know how lads raffle off keys anymore, but um, the developer sent me a ton of keys. Hang on, let me just get the volume control for this. Uh, the game is a parody. And people enjoyed it. And I never expected to see this again, ever. And yet, here it is. Aw, oh, shit, there's a calculator? Hell yeah. Wow, so, so many options. Video frames per second. Thank you. Oh man, 60 FPS? Localization, Brazil or not Brazil. Spelled differently both times. Hang on a minute. I, I have to... <laughs> Let me get the, the mouse so you can see. Um, calorie counter, control settings. I, I'm going to detect... So maybe gamepad would be fine. Set the ringtone. Oof. Elephant is good. Money bag, we weapons, your fit. Okay, so let let's just start a new game. Um the name of your hero Diddy. Skabulbunt. What is perspective? Is. The sacred temple, home of the great holy relic of Rikanism, the Rikahedra. It is still quite a distance away, Your Highness. I know. We best move on if we want to reach the temple before noon. Come. I'm so happy I don't have to read this dialogue. <laughs> Kamriana Vinacon, Princess of Bautajo, welcome Vinecon? to the Sacred Temple. We have so looked forward to your visit. I am Saj Iris. And with me are Saj Uraban and Saj Otur. I hope your travel was pleasant. The Neptalisans were very rude to me. No doubt thanks to my country's support of Solera and their long-standing feud. Nice they face. They passage and protection. All things considered, I can't complain. I'm sorry to hear that, Your Highness. We're all tired of this feud. But you'll be happy to know that the feud still hasn't touched our holy relic, the Ricohedron. It is the one thing that both sides have kept sacred and inviolate. <laughs> the fuck yeah, is happening? Let's not just stand out here. Come. A Ricohedron awaits. Oh my god. <laughs> it's beautiful. Would you like to touch it, Your Highness? Is it permitted? Normally, no. But for you. Wow. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be laughing already. Oh my god. Well, well, well. What have we here? Here day. You may address me <laughs> as King Here Day, your highness. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And when my Hollywood quality cinematography. Princess, your father is going to hand over half. That I've kidnapped you. <laughs> you're mad if you think you're going. Let's go. We've been attacked. What? Run, your highness. No. I fight. 
shit. Wow, she's good at that. Whoa! This is a spin maneuver. Drop your sword, princess. Your Highness, no! You can still fight! I can't, Sir Tarbatu. There's nothing more I can do. Job. Now let's just grab that Ricohedron and we'll be off to my lair. We had a deal here, Day. What? Ah, your grace! <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. The Archduchess of Kenora. I should have known you'd be involved in this. Oh, indeed, I should have known myself. You needn't have bothered coming here, you know. I, I, I have everything under control. What are with these cool faces? Here, Day, but I wanted to help you keep your end of the bargain. I will take the Ricohedron myself. Oh, oh, yes, you may take it. I have no special interest in that thing. But uh, are you sure you don't want to use it to cast the ceiling spell? I mean, it, it would create a much more powerful seal. From my point of view here, Day, this the Jedi are evil. The princess is just a distraction. I care not for your little penchant for pestering. <laughs> oh, of course not. Silly me. The Ricohedron is yours, your grace. Have fun starting your little war. What? A war? Nothing for you to worry about, my pretty. You'll be coming back to my lair. With you in my custody and the Ricohedron missing, <laughs> the kingdom of Baltudgel is in for a big surprise. Yes, Baltudgel is the name of the kingdom. I remember now. Very good name. <laughs> What? Do I press a button now? Hey, Tabitha. Yes, Lance? Let's say I find an adventure to go on. How will you be able to help? Well, I am a Pelinko sidekick fairy. We Pelinkos are all in telepathic contact with each other and have been able to exploit this to create a successful telecommunications enterprise. I have a touchscreen in my belly that you can use to access various services we provide for heroes in the field. Wow, that's really cool. Just press escape to use my touchscreen. Yeah. If you want to talk to me, press T. Also, talk to me. I'll be popping up with some totally not annoying advice from time to time. So pay attention. This is going to be so fun. I bet we find an adventure in no time. Well, first you need to shape up. People want their heroes to be in good physical condition. And if you don't work out a bit, you'll lose whatever tiny chance you have to find an adventure. This game took eight years to make. Ahead that seems like a good place to work out. And then probably like a, another couple years before that for the version that I played. Uh, so how about that controller detection? We got any of that? Because, uh... Wouldn't mind using a controller... ...for this. <sighs> Vin, why would it have that? It it says it has it. Right click on your Steam library and hit manage controller settings. Okay. Controller. Xbox enabled. Xbox enabled. Oh, it didn't work. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rest. Uh, that's okay. I'll just mouse and keyboard. Probably need to restart. Probably. Did you right-click the game? I, I right-clicked the game, yeah. Is that a pot from the Legend of Zelda game series? No, it's, it is a... 
is a different thing. Mr. Plamo Grundy, what are you doing here, you ponytailed whippersnapper? Why isn't there anything on the shelves? It's just for display, you little hoodlum. I took all the merchandise in the back room because of the pesky little thieves like you. I want to shop. Ah, you youngins are spreading too much excitement around this town with your long hair, misspelled names, and not sitting around all day. I'll try to be more plant-like. What's in stock today? Money bag upgrade. Cost. There's weird mouse input issues, too. Sometimes you have to click things, like... You have to click them twice for it to happen. Oh wait, no, I just wasn't clicking the arrows. You must be somewhat precise with your clicks. Town of Borington, population 3,000. <laughs> Tabitha, what is this? Diddy, you just found an app. An app. Yes, an app. There are little programs that you can run using the touchscreen in my belly. Just press escape to access my touchscreen. You'll see that there's a new icon. Hmm, this is interesting. It's an app that identifies the current background music. Really? So does that mean we'll no longer see any posts from idiots on YouTube who ask if anyone knows what the music is, even though all the songs are listed in the game's credits? Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe it'll cut down on a few, though. Press escape to access the touch screen in my belly and you should see an icon for background music identifier. Kevin McLeod. <laughs> oh, I remember these. These two. Hey, Dad, say hello to Tabitha. She's a Pelinko fairy. Hello, Diddy. You'd better behave yourself around her. Parents has added you as a friend on my Fief app. Parents has added you as friend. Hey, Diddy, you're just in time. I got a little job for you if you want some cash. Uh, maybe. What is it? I have to clear the road of all these rocks. I'll teleport one freaking fly a mile into your pouch for every rock you throw in that chute over there. What do you say? Well, you want to pay me all that just for clearing a few rocks? Sure, but why? Oh, I'm just feeling generous, that's all. What the? Andrew, what the hell was that? Oh, that's just Calvin. He just loves blocking any rocks you try to throw in the chute. Well, how am I going to get any rocks in the basket if this guy's blocking all the shots? Uh, I don't know. Maybe move around a little when you shoot. Be a moving target. Yeah, I remember that, dude. I remember that, dude. That That's a memory unlocked. Where does he go? Where does he go? That's one of like three things I remembered about this game. Someone said, I think about this game every day. Well, then you're probably going to want to win a copy of the game. Oh, I bet you're going to love playing it. So what do people use on Twitch for giveaways these days? Because I used Nightbot for a long time. Is that good? Still Nightbot? Your purse can't hold anymore. Oh, that sucks.
cost 11. Get out of my store, you little rat, and don't come back until you have enough money to buy something. Well, here's your merchandise, bought with honest money and sold at a fair price. Aren't you a nice young man? But there's a whole... So I don't even remember the social media aspect of this game. My chicken sandwich. Hey, how you doing? Did he need any agricultural supplies today? No, just looking around. Sure thing, if you need to buy some ag supplies, you know where to come. There's a lot of similar sounding people, or and looking people too. Formicarium. You thought the formicarium was intense before. Well, now it's it's too much to handle. Reopening in three days. Wow, Diddy, you will re you will write about this town being boring. See, I told you. Yeah, it's really boring around here. Uncle Stoop Nixie. Oh, God, I remember that name. Hey there, Diddy. Diddy, nice to see you. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that a fairy? Uh, yes, Uncle Stoop. This is Tabitha, my new fairy. Tab, this is Uncle Stoop Nixie. Mm, nice to meet you, drunk sir. Wow, that's amazing. How did you guys get together? Well, I saved her from a terrible fate one day. I had just completed my early morning threshing and was walking back to town when I noticed... It's having a bit of a thresh, you know. What was that? Cool, fairies! Mister, please, you gotta help me. He's gonna get me. Ah! Come on, you know you wanna buy some 2020 restaurant futures? <laughs> what? Restaurant futures? That's just cruel. I have to do something. Gotcha. No, my portfolio is fine. I don't believe in fairies. <laughs> well, that's all it took, huh? Wow, thanks a lot, mister. I thought my credit rating was a goner. I'm Tabitha, Tab for short. What's your name? My name's Lance. I thought it was Diddy. Yikes! Here's my card. Uh, hey, wait, this doesn't say Lance. I know, I know. It's spelled Lance, but it's pronounced Lance. Okay, well, glad to meet you, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the best in-universe explanation for a user-created name. Oh, I was passing through on my way to look for a freelance work as a fairy sidekick. You know what, Tab? Something's going on here. I've always felt like I was destined to be a great hero. And here you are. Destiny? Come on. No, really. I really think I could be a hero if I had the chance. Lance, no offense, but no. Most young heroes have been training to be a hero since they could walk. A small-town country boy like you is no chance. Do you have any experience at all going on adventure? Even like a small one? See, that's the problem. I haven't had the opportunity. This place is so dull, the grass thinks it's boring to watch us grow. But if you give me a chance, I'll Good find line. a quest and show you I can be a real hero. Oh, I don't think you have the slightest <clears throat> chance to find a quest to go on. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to... Did I change the title? No, it still says Zelda 2, sorry. You know what? People would not even know the difference. For a little while. After all, you saved my future from financial ruin. <laughs> Thanks, Tabitha. Unless Walk someone, one of my mods changed it. It's possible. Well, Tab, here we are. My hometown, Warrington. I think this cut scene we is live about there. to end. <laughs> well, that's one way to get out of a cutscene. So that's how we met. 
I can't believe that happened only a few minutes ago. Wow, that's great. You two will be going on adventures in no time. I'll, I'll bet you'll be needing a lot of information soon. Hey, that's what your Uncle Stoop is for. Reliable, helpful information. If you want to ask me anything, I'm over at the bar at my usual spot. Ta-da! Well, Diddy, I guess if we ever need to find Uncle Stoop, we don't have far to look. Mother 3 music confirmed. Good graphics this game has. Diddy, your uncle is already drunk. It's not even 7 o'clock. Nice to hear he's doing much better. I know. So what'll it be? Can I have 30 glasses of water? Hope the water doesn't give you dysentery. The tepid water is tasteless. Stay healthy and not be injured in the first place. If you do get injured, you'll have to recover health by eating. No health potions, not in this game. <laughs> so be prepared, there are many shops around the kingdom that sell food. Wait, what did Mike say? Huh? Mike? Did Mike say water is tasteless? Well, it, it is. That's pretty much all I drink, too. Not mineral water. Alright. <laughs> water tastes like water. Alright. Uh, fine. Fine, yes. Here. I guess it depends on where you get your water from. Because, like, there's tap water that tastes funky. Let me see what this water tastes like. Hang on. Tastes like milk. Vinny, stop skipping. This is tutorial dialogue. <clears throat> now, if you see a yellow crystal, it means the person is willing to repeat a previous conversation and has nothing new to say. If the person doesn't want to talk to you, you won't see a crystal at all. All right. I get you, Uncle Stoop Nixie. Let's try your powers out. What's the deal with the birds and the bees? No one else will tell me. It's understandable. Many people feel awkward talking about the birds and the bees, but it's something you need to know, so pay attention. Birds lay eggs. Bees make honey. Wow! Why does this town have walls? I mean, the only reason this province is free is that none of the nobility would take it when offered, so who would attack us? Well, Diddy, the fact is the walls of this town were built not to keep enemies out, but excitement. You see, Borington was founded many centuries ago by Seamus Boring, a destitute farmer who lived at this very spot. He was quite a visionary. He was a man who understood the advantages that come with a small town, but he also believed in living a life completely and totally free of uh, any sort of excitement whatsoever. So, poor and destitute, he single-handedly set out to build a town with strong walls designed to keep all excitement out. The result is boring to... Wow, that's sad. Indeed it is, but... Did it always even sadder, did he? All that work he did build these walls for nothing. You see, did he no small town ever has any excitement, walls or not. Okay. Hi, Mrs. Perry. What are you working on today? Good morning, Diddy. Take a look at this new invention. I call it a refrigerator. It is a box that keeps everything inside it cold. That's pretty neat. You always have the craziest inventions, Mrs. Perry. I know. 
Diddy, it may be crazy, but a refrigerator could be a useful item to have on an adventure. You're right, I think I should take it with me. I said, I think I should take it with me. Mrs. Perry, mind if I take the refrigerator with me? I'm looking to go on an adventure. A refrigerator would be a nice thing to have. Ah, oh, sure, you can take it, Diddy. I'll just order a... Oh, goodness. Ca be careful! Do you have it? Yep, right here in my pocket. <laughs> Uncle Stoop, Nixie, guess what? Um, Diddy ran over to the girls, but their crystal thingies were red. What does that mean? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Diddy, I forgot to tell you about the red ones. Uh, they're not too common, but they're really poignant when you see them. The red crystal means the person isn't merely uninterested, but emphatically refuses to talk to you. Oh, swell. Money. Mile for short. You can do many things to obtain miles. The game will handle the money for you. You should realize that you're physically capable of carrying more money than your bag holds. Any additional money will be, uh, with, will get, you get with a full size of money. Oh. Psst. Tab, what was that? Diddy, over here. Right on the street as you're looking for an adventure. What street? Follow me if you want some information. Uh, hey Jacob, uh, what is it? I have some juicy information for you if you want to hear it. Isn't this the dude from Star Wars? <laughs> uh, sure. We'd appreciate any advice you could give us. Most video games have a power-up of some sort. An item that gives you... Additional power and stamina. You know, Super Mario Brothers has magic mushrooms, Zelda has magic hearts, so on. The power-up thing in this game is... Magic spleens. Spleens? That's right, but I warn you, magic spleens are very rare. If you find one, you should consider yourself very lucky. Hmm. Okay, so what do I do if I find one? What do you mean? Like, how do I absorb its magic power? What do you think? You eat it! What? I can't even cook it? No! Cooking a magic spleen causes it to lose its magic power! Ugh. Didn't even know about the eating raw organs part of the job, did you, Diddy? Sure you still want to be a hero? I can handle it. Yeah, well, I'm off. Good luck, and uh, don't tell anyone I told you this. If word got out that I was out helping out on some an adventure, someone in the, in the adventure, I would lose my position on the town council. Oh. Diddy, the pots in this game appear to only contain artifacts. Artifacts, yes. Artifacts are items that have no use in the game except maybe to sell or for alchemy, if this game even has it. <laughs> there is a partridge in a pear tree. There was nothing in the pot. Uh, hello, Phil. Who the hell made you the gatekeeper? Miller did, just this morning. Uh, how nice. Well, I'd like to go outside if you don't mind. I'd appreciate if you opened up the gate. No can do, Diddy. For your information, this is level one. The game isn't programmed for you to be outside town on level one, so leave me alone and go do your tutorial like a good little boy. Oh, come on, open the gate. What's gonna happen? I don't care, Diddy. I'm just doing my job. Be your best friend. Diddy, read my lips. I am not going to open the gate for you. So scram.
spleen eaten. Lance, look, your life meter went up. It was three spleens, but now it's four. Well, I'll be. And you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It seems really gross, but I could learn to really enjoy eating spleens. Delicious. Hi, Tito. So, Diddy, you finally come to my gymnasium. About time you started to shape up. Working out your body will make you more successful farmer. Yeah, you have my new fairy here to thank. This is Tabitha. Tab, this is Tito Raul. Diddy thinks he's going to find an adventure to go on. I told him to get in better shape or no one's going to want to send him on one. So, uh, we want the best workout you have. An adventure? I don't think you'll find any adventure in this town, but I promise, if you do my workout, you'll be a better farmer. Okay, whatever. Now, there are two challenging exercises at this gym. Just walk up to the one of uh, one of the floor mats, and I'll give you instructions on how to do the exercise. If you complete both exercises, you'll gain a great reward. The ability to farm like you never could before. This is the ladder climb. All you have to do is climb a ladder. Got that? No, ladder climbing must be explained to me more than once. Ow. Diddy, are you okay? What happened? Yeah, I'm fine. I freaked out when I noticed my feet weren't touching the rungs. Oh yeah, this game is too cheap to synchronize feet to rungs. Try again and be careful. Okay, now come down exactly the same way. Stand near the ladder, press E to mount, climb down, press E again to dismount. Good work on the ladder climb, Diddy. Once you complete all the challenging exercises, you'll be able to farm better than you ever could before. Climb the rope, and then jump to the other ropes. You know, I'm feeling kind of funny. Oh, don't worry about it. It's perfectly natural. Now, get on with the exercise. You have to just jump to all six ropes without touching on uh, the ground. To jump to another rope, just aim for it with WASD and then press the space bar. Jesus. It's like Wind Waker. Better. Good work, Diddy. You jumped to all the ropes. Now come back down. Good work on the rope climb, Diddy. Once you complete all the challenging exercises, you'll be able to farm better than you ever could. See, I'm trying to read through this fast. And it's gonna... <laughs> not be as good. Well, you completed every exercise and you didn't fail. You didn't fall. What the fuck? What the fuck? This guy is skipping the lore. Please, we need read all the lore. Please. Read all the lore. Please, all the lore.
I have to listen. I have to amuse myself somehow while playing this game. I did it. Okay, I'm ready now for adventure. Tutorial's complete, I think. <clears throat> oh, God! Hey there, laddie. Hide you like a career in the Royal Boat Tudgelian Army. <laughs> uh... The Royal Army is a great career with great benefits. You'll be a, get great health care, you'll travel the world, you'll learn valuable leadership skills that'll prepare you for civilian career after your time in the army is complete. You'll make hundreds- wait a minute. Is that a fairy? Yes sir, this is Tabitha, the Pelinko fairy. Hmm, so you're a fairy boy. I'll tell you what, Stack. Those meetings might be long, but they fly by for me. There's nothing like running a kingdom. Okay. Ah, Lady Marl. What brings you to my office? A matter of grave importance, Your Majesty. Your daughter, Her Royal Highness, Princess Kamiana, has been kidnapped. Why is that a matter of grave Gasp. importance? Your Majesty, come on. The Foreign Office received a credible ransom demand from our old nemesis to the north, the Thane of Egrog, Ferena Herde. Ah, oh, him again. Well, what does he want? Your whole kingdom, basically. <laughs> he wants lordship over the entire northern half of the kingdom. But don't worry, he's willing to let you keep the southern half if you swear fealty to him. <laughs> Ferena Herde. What a character. How did he manage to <laughs> the delivery? She went off her <laughs> what a character. Just Sir Tabatu and her. He must have nabbed her then. Why would he do that? I I think I might know. Really? You see, something else happened at the same time that really? might even be This guy sense. sounds like a mall cop says a chat the member. <laughs> disappeared. Several sages are gone too. Lady Morrow, why exactly is it more serious that some mythological trinket disappeared? Because Solera and Neptalisa are blaming each other, and they are both now preparing for war. Oh my god. And if there's a war, it'll choke off commerce through the strait. I see. But what does this have to do with Carmiana? We think she might have left her itinerary to... Uh, the shirt's amazing. Temple, and that Thane here... Best part of the game so far is that shirt. ...and the Rikahedron at the same time. Ah. It's just... Hirde hasn't made any ransom demands for the Rikahedron. And he would not hesitate to let us know if he had it. We know Hirde. Do we have any idea who does have it? No. Well, there's not much we can do about Neptalisa and Solera then, apart from mediating through diplomatic channels. As for Carmiana, I guess we'll have to do a rescue operation. Lord Stackenfee. Lord, the Lord of Dump. Yes, Your Majesty. What do you require, your majesty? Lord Tapton, my friend. It appears that my daughter is being held ransom by the Thane of Egrog. I want you to assess the current situation and give me your report as soon as possible. I'm way ahead of you, sir. I have a detailed report. He was just in the other room. Already prepared. A full report? Already? Well, we had plenty of time. She was kidnapped almost 13 hours ago. 13 hours ago? <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me until now? Now, your majesty, we were just following orders. Don't you remember when you told us? And these are your exact words. I don't want anyone to interrupt my meetings to report insignificant news, such as if my daughter is kidnapped. Oh, yeah. Well, what did you find out? Farina Hirde is holding the princess in his lair in the Egra Gorge, north of the kingdom, which is protected by level 42 ceiling. Thane Hirde created the seal by enchanting two plot keys. <laughs> Before we can infiltrate the lair, we have to obtain plot, plot keys. keys. So... What we plan to do. Ah, I think I know what you're planning. You want us to send a hero. A hero who will go on a glorious quest to rescue the princess. It will be a long and perilous quest. He will travel to distant lands, face many hardships, and encounter many dangers. But if he surmounts these many obstacles, he will find great glory. Right? Well... 
actually we were planning to deploy the army. I mean, come on, what's one hero going to do against <laughs> thousands of enemy troops? You want me to deploy the army just to rescue one hostage? Do you have any idea how much it'll cost? Sir, she's your daughter. Well, what makes my daughter so special, huh? You don't think I'd deploy the army to rescue anyone else's daughter, do you? Why should I for mine? Sir, it's a delicate situation, given the princesses. Nah, forget it. Come up with something cheaper. I've had quite enough of this for the day. I'm going to go nail the queen now, if you don't mind. <laughs> Your Majesty, if you don't do anything to save her, you could take a major hit in the opinion polls. All right. Let me think. I got it. As far as the polls are concerned, all that matters is that I look like I'm trying to get my daughter back. So, instead of deploying the army, we will send out a hero to rescue the princess. And here's the good part. When he fails, I get sympathy points. Eh? But will the people go for it? Sure they will. We'll just feed them some bullshit story about a prophecy. <laughs> people love that kind of shit. Very good, Your Majesty. Wow. <laughs> but one more question. What if the hero succeeds? If he succeeds, then he would seem to be a perfect match for her, solving that problem. Because, after all, no man is more deserving of my daughter's hand in marriage than the one who brings her back to me. Lord Tapton, I want you to send out a small, inexpensive squadron of men to scour the kingdom. Bring me back a fairy boy. A fairy boy? The kingdom. Yes, fairy boy. The one chosen by destiny to rescue the princess. Well, it makes a whole lot of sense now. Uh, hello, sir. Let me ask you something, lad. Have you heard any recent rumors about Princess Carmiana? The princess? Yeah, they say she's not feeling well, and that is why she had to cancel some appearances. Son, prepare yourself for a shock. The princess has been kidnapped! Kidnapped, kidnapped. For some reason, the king is looking for a fairy boy to go out on a quest to save his daughter. What? How, why did the word daughter come out like that? Scots rolling in their graves. Dead ghosts of thousands of dead Scots rolling in their graves right now. You've got to be kidding me. I'm under orders to recruit a fairy boy for this quest, so... If you join the army now, you'll have a fantastic opportunity to rescue Her Royal Highness Princess Carmiana, and if you succeed, you will have esteemed honor of marrying her. So what do you say, laddie? Will you join the army? Yeah, uh, nah. Yeah. No. No. Diddy, what are you thinking? Against all odds and common sense, you actually managed to find a quest to go on, and you don't want to go? Come on, don't you want to be a glorious hero and not? No. All right. Ah, sign me up. See, Tab, I told you. Cannot believe what I'm seeing. Not only am I going on an adventure, Tab, I'm going on the greatest adventure ever. A quest to rescue the princess. It is my fate to be a glorious hero. I am the chosen one, TM. Ah, oh, please, Diddy, you could never possibly get a quest like this based on your own merits. You got it because the circumstances of me tagging along at the exact sliver of time the king was looking for a fairy boy. Exactly. Fortune brought you to me, Tab. <sighs> it's like Destiny is my Patronus, and I am her ward. I am Destiny's ward. I shut up with the Destiny talk. We just lucked out. You say luck, I say Destiny. Who cares? Point is, we're going on a quest to rescue the princess TM together. I told you I wouldn't let you down. Sir, when do we start? As soon as I take you to the capital to get your commission from the king. Just get your sword and we'll be off. Um, well, I don't exactly own a sword. Don't have a sword! I can't take you to meet the king if you don't have a weapon to, for the king to commission you with. Sorry, you'll have to require a weapon before I sign you up. Well, Diddy, it looks like your Patronus is quite the practical joker. Patronus. <laughs> uh, plucking you of all people at random out of a whole kingdom to go on the most glorious of all quests, only to have you fail because you don't own a weapon. Ugh, this is terrible. Where the hell am I going to find a weapon in Borington? Come on, Diddy, I can't believe it happened, but 
We were just given an extraordinary opportunity, and we can't just give it up on a technicality, something something I skipped by accident. Shit. Shrubbery. Well, there's, there's no... Time-stretched music. Um, maybe, um, Uncle, Uncle Tendy? What's his name? <laughs> Uncle Stoop Nixie. No. Uncle Sad Bedroom. Uncle Funzalo! Oh, you remember Uncle Funzalo, huh? Agriculture, yeah. even enter this building oh wait oh wrong place hey, I uh and Bartrud you doing diddy Simon I need a weapon pronto do you have anything here I could use as one hmm I don't know let's see hmm well all I have is the scythe that could be a weapon what do I look like the grim reaper come to think of it Never mind. All right, I'll take it. I can sell it to you for ten frequent flyer miles. All right, here's your site. Thanks for business. Thanks. I finally got the scythe. Hey, look, I got a weapon. Can we go? A scythe? You call that a weapon? I most certainly do. The scythe is an honorable weapon from our kingdom's agricultural regions. A tr tradition for knights from Boringshire to be commissioned with a knife. Wasn't it Borington? Is it really? Yes, sir. It's definitely not an urban legend. Ah, seems legit to me. I can take you to the palace whenever you're ready. You are ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's go to the palace. Boringshire is the region, Borington is the town. And so, Ditty and Tabitha set off for Botudgel City with Corporal Hauser to meet with King Telkar Vinecon and receive a commission to rescue the princess. Our story continues just before the knighting ceremony in a small room in Vinicon Palace, or Vinecon Palace, whatever. As King Telkar speaks... Telkar speaks to his advisors about the new glorious hero. And so the media has just been informed about the princess's kidnapping and about our plans to send out a hero. Chase them. They'll be present to cover the knighting ceremony. Good. And what about the story? Do we have a story for them? We have something better than a story, Your Majesty. We found an actual prophecy from the Melitorusan scriptures that kind of fits this situation. That's right. I remember a prophecy like that from the second book of Rico. Yes, it predicted that the Ricohedron would disappear during a tumultuous period, that a hero would appear and go on several quests, one of them being to rescue a princess. Also, the hero is supposed to come from the class of people who work the land. Is that why we're going with a kid with a scythe? Indeed it is, Your Majesty. This is great work, Your Excellencies. Press is going to eat this up. Anyway, let's get this over with. Wait here. I'll put on my royal headdress. Vinny, what kind of shed would Vinecon be held in? Plywood or corrugated metal? Let's go. Oh my god, it's the king of the cosmos. <laughs> Cardboard, perhaps? Citizens of Baltudgel, as you all know by now, the holy relic known as the Ricohedron was stolen from a sacred temple in Melargusa, and Solera and Neptalisa are now on the brink of war on account of it. What you do not yet know is that Carmiana, your beloved princess and my beloved daughter, 
was visiting the sacred temple at the time it was stolen, and she was kidnapped as well. <laughs> the evil warlock, Fiona Hirde, our nemesis to the north, has taken credit for the kidnapping and has sealed her up in his lair in Egrog. He has demanded ransom for nothing less than the entire kingdom. But even though I love my daughter dearly and would sacrifice everything for her safe return, for your sake and the sake of the kingdom, I cannot. But there is hope. <laughs> there is a Raconian prophecy that predicts God will send us a glorious hero if ever the Ricohedron disappears. God is real in this game? turmoil, it is said, I will send thee a young man. He will come from the fields of wheat and prove his valor. We believe that this prophecy has come to pass and that this brave fairy boy is the chosen one, destiny's ward, the one whose fate it is to rescue the princess and rid our kingdom of the evil that has befallen it. Hand me your scythe, Lance. Mental. For those who don't know, the scythe is an honorable weapon from our Still kingdom. wearing the rat shirt. Well, is, is that a rat? Is that a muskrat? Is that an otter? To be commissioned with a scythe. Lance. Boring scythe, Shire. I commission you and your sidekick Tabitha as independent Barrett. special agents in the Royal Army. Stoat. You will report directly to Lord Tapton, the Minister of War. Please speak to him after the ceremony ends to get your orders. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> it is a creature. Citizens, I present to you the Chosen One, the glorious hero, Destiny's Ward, Lance. Look at this, like, group of clowns. Oh, they're all gone. So anyway, Diddy, I, re I realize the scythe is an honorable weapon from our kingdom's agricultural regions, but it's going to be slightly embarrassing to have the glorious hero running around the kingdom using a scythe as a weapon. I'm very sorry, Your Majesty. It's just that I come from a humble farming town. I can't afford a sword, but even if I could, there was no sword to be bought in my town. A scythe was the closest thing to a weapon I could find. It's quite all right, Diddy. There is no shame in using scythes as a weapon. My ancestors, before the, they were they were kings and queens, or even thanes, repelled barbarian invaders using only scythes and flails. So, still, these days, it doesn't look good. Here's a 50-mile gift certificate for regal armory and outfitters. That should be enough to buy you a short sword and maybe an outfit or gloves or something. Well, thanks, Your Majesty. Where is this place? It's right across the river as soon as you exit the palace. Thanks. I'm Lady Merrill, His Majesty's Ministry of State. Ah, so that's who you are. <laughs> yeah. Very often this unheralded person working behind the scenes in international affairs. No one noticed us. I can't read tonight, everybody. I'm so sorry. It's too late. I've already had a headache. I don't think reading is my strong point tonight. I'm like, just totally out of it. And I have no real connection to the material, so... I'm going to read even better. I doubt you'll need any assistance from my office, as this is a matter we don't expect a diplomatic resolution to. Indeed, Firena Highride has, whatever, has never been amenable to diplomacy. However, should any international intrigue pop up, you'll want to seek assistance from me, and there's a chance it might. Thanks to this business with Ricohedron, we suspect it might be related to the princess's kidnapping. You give me a lot to think about. International politics is a complicated subject. Hey Diddy, I'm Lord Tapton, the Ministry of War. Nice to meet you. My pleasure, Your Excellency. You know, Diddy, I have a very good feeling about you. You have the deep-rooted farmer's work ethic, and I think you'll that'll pay off on your quest. My family's estate was also connected to agriculture, and even though we were nobility, it was a small estate, so we all contributed. I know what life is like in the sweltering trough of agriculture. Trough? Trough? I still read that word weird, like Lance and Diddy. It's the kind of life that builds real men, Diddy. I see a real man in you, and I'm happy to be working with you. Wow, thanks. My only concern is your tendency to... What did you know about that? What? I mean, nothing. Uh, you, I was studying your dossier, and... I notice you have a tendency to jump into situations without a plan, so before you set off, uh, you'll need to come to the War Ministry office. You'll be briefed on the first mission, and we'll set up a plan. It's the first door to your right as you exit the throne room. Ah, 
Occam's razor. No tease. Solaronite. Maltese Falcon. <laughs> Flux Capacitor. Wow, new content. Decagram of Melange. Plastic thingamajig. Oh. Ah, you must be Master Ditty. Welcome to Botodger Labs. I am Sir Winston Mankava, the Wizard Laureate, Head of Magical Research for the Kingdom. Sounds interesting. It is more than interesting. It is transcendent. We project our essence into the astral realm to uncover the metaphysical mysteries of the universe. And we use this knowledge to create elixirs and talismans for ordinary folk. Because not everyone has access to time tri I mean, not everyone can project themselves astrally. I've been appraised of your missions, Master Ditty, and we're working on something just for you. Cool, what is it? I can't tell you, but I'll give you a hint. It'll help you get to somewhere you can't go right now. Come back after you've been briefed on part two of your adventure. Hi, you must be Destiny's Ward. I'm Kelly. I'm a research assistant here at Botage Labs. The cranky old man to my right, Sir Mankova, ha Mansova, whatever, has some magic you'll need for your missions. That's why you've been sent here. But I can brew you some alchemy recipes, too. Kelly, what are you doing trying to peddle alchemy? Pet peddle alchemy to our customers for. The glorious hero doesn't need inferior magics. We work in mana here. Oh, be quiet. You know our mission statement covers the full range of magics, and you only get a third of my time anyway. I can dabble on my own time if I want. Go meditate or something. Ah, never mind that old, old fussball. He's cranky, but he does do some good magic. Yes, mana-based magic. Anyway, I can make you an alchemy recipe for five miles, plus the cost of ingredients. No. Someone said this model is definitely ripped from somewhere. I... What do you mean? I, I see no difference in quality between the two models. It's definitely the same person who made them specifically for this game. Eight years for one model. Okay. Diddy, please take a seat. Is this a Dr. Strangelove <laughs> reference? There's no fighting in here, it's the war room. Well, here I am. Welcome to the Strategic Command Center. This is the room we used to uh, use to plan major wars. We don't use it for that anymore since Botudgel hasn't been in a major war for a century. We'll be using it as the command center for this operation. It's very impressive. Thanks, we're very proud of it. Anyway, to business. Diddy and Tabitha, the Helenko ferry to my left is Colonel Selina. She'll be your commanding officer. The only real gameplay I've experienced in this game so far has been throwing rocks into a hoop. It's nice to meet you, Tabitha. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Selena. Wait, you two fairies know each other already? See, Tab, I told you this was destiny. Shut up, Diddy. It's not destiny. All Palenco fairies know each other. We're all telepathically connected. Oh! However, by coincidence, we have actually met fairy to fairy. We were in the same class in sidekick school. See? Let's just get to the briefing. All right. Background. Three days ago, Princess Carmiana was kidnapped while visiting the sacred temple in Melarjusa. 
the assailant was Ferena Highride, an evil warlock who rules the small Thanedom of Igrog to our north. Fun names. Thane Highride took her to his lair and cast level 42 ceiling to protect it. Level 42 ceiling is a very powerful spell. The only practical way to break the seal and obtain access to his lair is to obtain the two objects High Ride enchanted with the power to open the seal called Plot Keys. High Ride has entrusted one of the Plot Keys to a Baron Ron, a nobleman within our kingdom sympathetic to High Ride. The other one he buried in the southern catacombs in Naroka. Do you understand the mission so far? No, do not repeat. Let's have a look at the big board then. Here's a map of the kingdom. Here we are. First plot key is there. Brabensi, if my geography serves me correctly, that's where the esteemed University of Chingame lies. The Baron is very well known. <laughs> is a very well known alumnus and has built his chateau near the university for that reason. Oh my god. Yes, I understand. But you may continue. Enemies. Bar Baron Ram is a necromancer. He can channel dead spirits and control hideous beasts. We have good intelligence that he has created an army of supermodel zombies that roam the halls of his chateau. Infiltrating the chateau will be a very difficult task. <laughs> uh, I don't think zombies are going to be much... Wait, wait, hold on. Because the living dead are best attacked from a distance, we'd recommend you buy a ranged weapon. Yes, but you should probably bring ammunition just in case. Otherwise, there would be sufficient ammunition at the chateau, obviously. But bring extra. Or being extra prepared doesn't hurt. Okay, that all makes sense. But did you say supermodel zombies? Of course she said supermodel zombies, did he? This is a video game. What did you think? There wouldn't be gratuitously hot enemies? Well, yeah, I mean... This isn't the sort of game that appeals to violent dude bros. I figured we'd be above that kind of thing. Nah, nah, nah. Anyway, this game is a parody. I mean, it's going to hit all the ridiculous things regular games do even harder. Fine, anything else? In addition to supermodel zombies, we know there are other monsters in the chateau as well. You should prepare with a variety of weapons. Do you understand this information about the enemies you'll face, or would you like us to repeat this? No, never again do I want to have this conversation. Dude bro in 2022, says chat member. Well, remember, this game was first released like seven to eight years ago in early form. And like several years before that was that made. So, I mean, this is like... Probably like a 10-year development game. Whoa, did you see that? That was cool. I did a thing that was interesting. I like grinded. New tech unlocked. Brent Nuttaloos. You must be the glorious hero. My name is Brent Nuttaloos. I have orders to drive you to Brobency once you've been briefed on your mission. Since you've been briefed, we can set off to Brabenzi whenever you are ready. Can you open the gate real quick, not to lose? Oh, raise the portcullis. No, I have orders not to let you out of the palace. I'm a glorious hero. I should be able to go and come as I please. Why can't I leave? Don't know, don't care. All right, I guess I'm ready for my carriage ride. Gates open, have fun. Hope you can find your way. But wait, now it's open. Wow, ah, Tabitha, look. Bow Tudgel City. I know, it's such a vibrant city with so many side quests. But remember, we're not here to sightsee. We have a princess to rescue. Right, first thing we have to do is figure out how to get to Probensi. Wait, what's that clapping sound? Over there! So, if it isn't Fairy Boy... His name is Gary. He's gonna be the rival. Well, I just want you to know, Fairy Boy, you can forget about your little quest because I'm gonna be the one to rescue the princess. 
What? You? You're going to be a hero? Have you ever wielded a weapon in your life? I have, as of a few minutes ago. I don't have to fight any monsters. My dad's the Duke of Lishker, and he's going to buy the plot keys for me, so you should just give up and go back to your meaningless farm life, fairy boy. Well, uh, I'm not going to, so there. I'm gonna have to work on your one-liners, Diddy. You don't sound like a hero at all. Tab, who was that? I do believe that was the Duke of Lister's son, Gary, a notorious rich brat. Can his dad really buy the plot keys? What bet did Vinny lose to be forced to play this? He doesn't even sound like he's having funds as a chat member. Yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm, I've been reading the whole time. Um, but, you know, I expected that to some degree. When I played the demo seven years ago, it was kind of just that. It's a parody game. It's it's low budget. It's cheap. What can you do? Um, but I, you know, I wanted to check it out. So let's see. Also, don't assume my emotions, my bro. Diddy, don't panic. Heroes face adversity all the time, and a true, a true hero comes back from adversity. We have to keep going, but one thing's for sure. We can't waste any more time. What? I mean, except for all the time we need as many side quests as we want to go on. The visitor center across the bridge should have some information on how to get to Brabancy. I mean, I, I understand. I knew what I signed up for. But... You know, the, the game is pretty much just, like... An hour, a little over an hour of reading. And um, I don't expect, <laughs> looking at this, I don't expect the best gameplay. So we'll see. I got a gift certificate from the king. Okay, must be very important. I'll give you the king, I'll give the king the benefit of the doubt. Unlimited access to the weapon samplery and armor changing room. Okay, you can try on some armor over there. Can I interest you in a weapon? Uh. Th that's not enough. Oh dear. It's a cool noise you got there when you hit. Um, I, I, I can't afford anything but a Santa hat and a chicken. You know, I'll just buy a chicken sandwich. That's fine. The game developers haven't implemented the outfit changing mechanic yet. You may still buy armor, but you can't try it on first. Oh. But wait a minute. If you beat the game with anything other than a scythe, you aren't a real Diddy fan. The king's like, yeah, go get a weapon on me. Looks like you, I can't afford to buy the crossbow. Only for 50 miles, the crossbow is 61. I can't cover the difference with cash. I'll need 11 miles to do that. I'm not physically capable of carrying 11 miles. Diddy, what you need to do is buy a money bag upgrade. A larger bag will allow you to carry more miles. That's true. Do you have any idea where I can get an upgrade around here? Uh, item shop. Throw the keys the dev gave you in the trash. <laughs> well, this was a popular... For those that don't know, this was actually a fairly popular video of mine years ago. Um, no, I'm gonna give it to the chat. Which is the same thing. Oh! 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 Mario! Oh! 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 
chat members are going to be playing this and eating it right up. Uh, here's the river market. Let's see, maybe we can buy some food. Why don't you buy an app or something? Pecker knows. Um, I called. Oh, I should have called you the fog because you're wandering around clueless, like you're in it and your brain is made of it. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you're a ho helpless little snowflake. There was once a time when people knew how to find out what to do on their own. But now even glorious heroes of the realm can't be trusted to get by without help. It's not like that fairy who's moseying along with you is going to be of any help. Hey, so you need to buy an app so you can stop looking like a goddamn idiot. Fine, I'll look at your apps. Map. Uh, I'll buy the maps app. Oh, I have no, I can't buy it. Never mind. Goodbye, Pecker Nose. Why do they say the tallest poppy is always cut down? Of course you don't understand it, Pecker Nose. It's because you're fundamentally stupid and need people to explain everything to you. It refers to when average, insignificant people refuse to try to improve their own lot in life, but instead cut down superior people around them. I think I get it. It's like when somebody's dissatisfied with their own lowly job. Someone, like, say, a shopkeeper, throws unprovoked insults at someone who society favors, like, say, a hero of the realm. Oh, look, Pecker Nose had an actual constructive thought. That's exactly right, Pecker Nose, which is why I... Anyway, what are we talking about this for, Pecker Nose? You're supposed to be buying apps. Costs 11. How can I buy a larger money bag when it costs more money than I can carry? Sorry, man. Can't do anything about the price. Hey, man, you know what you should do? You should go get a savings account. Just go to the bank and get a savings account. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Debit card. Get a thing so you can get the thing so you can get the thing. Hello, I'm a straw man. I know lots and lots of things, so if you want some information about anything in particular, just come to me. For instance, did you know this? The earth is slowly heating up. You can see for yourself anytime you go outside on a hot day. Hey, you can't attack me. That's a logical fallacy. <laughs> oh, no. Cool space paintings. Welcome, stranger. I am Cassandra. I sell food, but offer so much more. Speak. Uh... I'm here to buy cosmestibles. Comestibles? I can buy a, a gyro, a fortune cookie, or more water. I, I don't... I don't want to... to... Oh. Diddy, this is exciting. This chest contained the famous dating app. Scoviller. You should try it out. Oh, like Scoville. Welcome to Scoviller, the hottest new online dating app. If you see someone who's hot, hot, hot like a spicy jalapeno, you click the chili pepper icon. But if you see someone who's bland like an eggplant, you click the eggplant icon. Whenever two people find each other hot, it's a match, comprende? That, that's the whole bit. You be... You be Tish? Hello, you look like a guy who could use some cash, I guess. That's what I'm here for. My name is You be Tish. I'm a pawnbroker. I buy almost everything, even artifacts. Even though they're useless in this game, or so they say, there's a market for them. Some artifacts are very valuable. Uh... I can... Um... Oh dear. 
Uh, here you can you can have that. You can have. There's there's like lots of tool tips. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy video game Infocom. Dude, where's my car? Oh, the Continuum Transfunction or from Dude, Where's My Car? Plan 9 from Outer Space by Ed Wood. Oh my god. it's a lot of good references here. Maltese Falcon from, you know, the Maltese Falcon. Randomizer. Toe Jam and Earl. Shrubbery from Monty Python. Partridge in a Pear Tree. It's a Higgs boson particle. Dune. It is like life. It presents a different face each time you take it. Some hold that the spice produces a learned flavor reaction. The body, learning a thing is good for it, interprets the flavor as pleasurable, slightly euphoric, and then like life, never to be truly synthesized. Gor Gorsh! I take possession of your crap. Here is your payment. You can sell the free water for infinite money. No. No. Well, first I wanted to go to the bank. Where, where was the bank? <laughs> Nestle business model. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I need water. Okay, 10 glasses of water. And let's see. Nope. Vinny, first page. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I doubted you, chat member. Breaking the fourth wall. It's, it's actually shattering the fourth wall. Nothing for now. Okay, so, um... Yeah, so there's just infinite money from water. I'm assuming the developer knew about this and was just like, yeah, whatever. Everyone wants... Oh. Everyone, everyone wants to break the fourth wall, but what about the fifth wall? Help, I'm being held hostage in the factory that makes the Scoviller app. They're forcing me to create fake profiles and get more people to sign up. If you get this message, please send help. I'm in the Scoviller factory in Botudgel City. Wow. I think that's the bank. Yep, this is Chinese food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Door is locked, never mind. It's like a bustling city, you know? Excuse me, ma'am, but I'm about to open a bank account. So, Mr. Diddy, what you're telling me is that you are 20 years old, have never earned more than 20 miles per week, have no experience handling money or managing accounts, and have almost no assets, and you want to open a, open a savings account with the Bank of Botudgel. Yep. I'm sorry, Mr. Diddy, but you are not financially sound enough to open a savings account at this esteemed bank. I am sure you are well aware that the Bank of Botogel is the most prestigious bank in the world. 
we are very selective concerning our clientele. We don't give uh, savings accounts to every riffraff who walks in off the street. You are out of your place to even request such a thing. However, as consolation, we can offer you something else. An unsecured credit card with a credit limit of 1,000 miles. Wait. What? You, you won't give me a savings account, but you'll give me an unsecured credit card with a 1,000 mile limit? I apologize for the regrettably low credit limit. <laughs> That's actually not what surprised me. Yesterday, I could have offered you a 2,000 mile limit, but something happened to one of our major underwriters early this morning. He disappeared somewhere near a town in Borington. Huh? The credit card comes with a 1599% FMPY. Okay, what is FMPY? Five minute percentage yield. It means that every five minutes you'll be charged with an interest of 1599%. That's five minutes of real time, not counting pauses, conversations, and menus. <laughs> However, you'll have a grace period of three and a half minutes after a purchase before interest begins to accrue. <laughs> Finally, your credit card comes with a free Bank of Botigel app, and you'll be able to use the app to remit payments, set up auto pay, and monitor your credit rating. What is this game? Just sign here. Tab, this is awesome. I got a credit card. I'm going to buy so much stuff. Congratulations, Diddy, but a credit card is a big responsibility. If you're not careful, you could find yourself in serious debt. Oh, I got it. Don't worry. Look, just don't buy anything you don't think you'll be able to pay back within a few minutes. Otherwise, you'll default on payment and your credit ranking uh, rating will tank. That's not good. I advise you to use the free banking app they give you and set it to use auto... M imagine me earlier making fun of MMOs and then playing this. And then set it up to use auto pay or alert you when your payments are due. Mario, I got this new credit card! Oh no, Mario, I have to sell the home! Luigi, we have to foreclose! Can you give me a one mile discount on the money bag upgrade? Sorry, man, it's called supply and demand. Dude's gotta earn a living. Yeah. Credit. Thank you so much, my man. Here's your stuff. And now I have to go into the app and pay it off. Oh my god. But why is there this much? <laughs> uh, enable auto pay. I'm just going to sell some water, man. Um, how, how much can I hold now? How much money? One hundred? Okay, so... Amazing. Can you buy more of the big bag to hold more money? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can go backwards? Nope. Fantastic game design. <laughs> yep. I have a hundred. 
Can't you type numbers in? Uh, m maybe? You have upgraded your money bag to hold a thousand miles. Nope. That is the- that's the thing right there. That's the thing. Auto clicker. <laughs> Imagine downloading and setting up an auto clicker for this game. And then deleting it when you're finished with the game. can't even hold down the button you, you just have to you just have to press it uh credit balance so so now i i can double credit uh so so i have to pay current balance did it now my desire to get a weapon that costs more than the crossbow is just not high I, I don't want to do it so I'm not going to why do people still use credit cards in real life this is a chat member um in some ways I think the security of the credit card there's a convenience, and some people cannot afford to buy things. I think a credit card is a bit of a trap. But fraud prevention is the, the main reason that I would probably cite. Vinny, you got a key card worth 125. Maybe I need the key card. There's a shooting gallery. Yep. Someone said, I'm still convinced there is no actual combat in this game. Key card from Space Quest 1. Eh, I'll, I'll sell it. I do like seeing the references. The Big Lebowski. It's a rug. Improbability drive, hitchhiker. Critical item. I don't think it's a critical item. Vinny, I'm sure you need it. <sighs> Alright, I'm not gonna sell it then. I could buy it back, but I'd have to buy a lot of water and sell a lot of water if, if I wanted to do that. So... Judging this game as a piece of Vine Sauce history, and also judging it as a parody game, it's exactly what I expected. Judging it as a video game, it's like, hol holy fuck. Please let me gameplay before, <laughs> before going into this. Like, it's just so much exposition and lore dump and jokes, and not once have I actually done anything gameplay related. Bradley Weenock. Clever Ben Scarian that I am realized that this game needed a new twist. The object is not to hit the target, but to miss the target. Give you a small crossbow and 10 darts. If you miss all 10 shots, I give you a prize. I'll try the, um... Impossible level.
Wow, laddie, you're a natural. You missed all 10 of your shots. Here's the prize, a Benscarian cap. Just wasted one of my things. Listen, at least something happened. What, what now? <laughs> what are next? The dating app factory, right. empty area where we didn't have to put any buildings. Okay. Go rescue Tinderella. <laughs> That's really good, chat member. Developer Laziness Park. Princess Andrea's Castle. Oh god. Oh god, is she from The Shining? Oh boy, I thought you were a writing desk, but you're not a writing desk. You're a person. What? But I forget my manners. I am Princess Andrea. Welcome to me bowl. Oh. Yeah, it's a really nice party. My name's Diddy. Hello, Diddy. You should come to our ball and play with us. Come play with us, Diddy. Forever and ever and ever. Shining reference. Well, it sounds fun, but I'm kind of in the middle of some important business. I've sent invitations out all over the kingdom, but no one I've invited has shown up for my ball. I don't even know if they got lost on the way. Maybe they can't move at all. If you see them, would you please bring them here to Andrea's castle? Ah, I understand. It's an item collection quest. I'm supposed to find items all over the world and bring them back to you. And then you'll give me a reward. I can do that. So what items did you invite? To your ball. Let me guess. Jewels? No, too cliche. Cars? Uh, they haven't been invented yet. I don't know. Maybe some kind of golden bugs or something? No. Antique furniture. What? Not just any antique furniture. I've only invited furniture that was manufactured by the famous furniture design studio Rowena and Company. Rowena and Company? I've heard of them. In fact, I remember there was some sort of big deal about Rowena furniture, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I'll keep an eye out for you. Hmm. Maybe we don't need to be friends with Andrea on the, on the My Thief app. Remember Agatha? Yep. In Twilight Princess bug collection. Oh, here it is. Future home of the Scovler Factory mini quest. Oh, god damn it. Speed boot. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, there we go. Holy shit. Well, th that changes a lot. <laughs> now I can't complain about the character moving too slowly. What? Oh. 
Well, this is it, Tab. We're about to leave civilization behind and enter the great unknown wilderness. <laughs> this is the real deal, Diddy. Our quest begins now. Let's go. I just yeeted myself out of the fucking boundaries of the game. This is it, Louis. And so, having their work set out for them, Diddy and Tabitha leave the cozy confines of the King's Palace and head off into the wilderness. Well, Tabitha, here we are, outside the safety of the city walls, and about to embark on our glorious quest to rescue the princess. Out there <laughs> lies the vast, uncharted wilderness where needs are scarce and enemies lurk hidden in the ignorant crevices of the landscape. It is a journey so bleak and perilous that only the greatest of men can hope to succeed. And yet, destiny chose me, a poor farm boy, to undertake this glorious quest, because the true power to conquer evil comes not from money or prestige, but from the heart. Hello, Mario. And so, my good fairy, it is time to set forth into the bleak unknown. First stop, Brabenzi. Damn it! Lance, are you okay? Ugh. Hey, buddy. This is just a scenic overlook. The road to Brabenzi is back that way. Yeah, I know. But there weren't any good vantage points on the road. We're trying to make a cutscene for a game here. Huh? A game? Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to do that somewhere else. You're creeping out the tourists. I feel like that was a scene in the original, in the, the demo. Sorry about that. Well, Tab, it looks like our adventure is off to a rough start. I hope this isn't a sign of things to come. <laughs> Looks directly at camera. Okay. Looney Tunes. Just straight up Looney Tunes. Yo, what the fuck? Plants, wake up. What? Where am I? You're dead, Lance. I need to get up. Do you think I remember this? Br yeah, Brian. Brian. Who are you? He was silent. I am deaf. Yep, I'm deaf, Lancey, and this is Limbo. The first Diddy. circle of hell. You're in hell, Lance. Isn't that wonderful? What? Wonderful? Jesus Christ. Oh, don't be so sour, Lancey. This isn't the mean old imperial capitalist hell that really, really bad people go to. This is the hell where everybody lives in a utopian world of peace and harmony as we frolic in laughter and gaiety among the flowers. No. Yeah. Kill me twice. You know, Everyone is your friend. Every moment is joy, and we smile. Look, Death, I was in the middle of making a video game, and I guess I must have gotten killed somehow. <sighs> I kind of like to continue. I'm trying to rescue the princess. So soon, so soon. Very well, you're the glorious hero, after all. I have a magical chariot that can carry your soul back to Earth if you follow me. It's just better that way. Here it is, Lancey, the chariot that will take you back to Earth. Interesting looking ride. And Lance, remember, anytime you die, you're welcome to stay here with us in limbo, singing and dancing and frolicking in the flowers. Bye bye, Lancey. Sure thing. Goodbye, Death. I'm sure I'll be back soon. The production values are fucking outstanding. Hey, Diddy, you're back already. I guess so. That's amazing. Most people take years, if not decades, to continue, but you were gone for no time at all. Death wasn't anything like I expected, though. Don't sweat it, Diddy. Let's keep going. We're still on a mission to rescue the princess. Yeah, speed boot. Very bad. Death has added you as a friend. <clears throat> I 
We're gonna educate yourself in the geography of the kingdom. Uh, don't want any enemies popping out of ignorant crevices and hijacking the tour bus. Oh god, I remember this music. Diddy, let's not do any more unnecessary cutscenes. I'm with you, Tabitha. We really should be going to Brabensi at some point. Brab Brabensi? There you go, there's the music. Trip by Jazzar. I was enjoying that. Hello there, lad. Well, you look a lot like him. Like who? Uh, what? Oh, nothing, nothing. You just look like someone I know. My name is Achilles. Achilles? Are you the same Achilles that fought in the Trojan War? That's me. Wow, what an honor to meet such a, a Trojan War veteran. My name is Diddy, and I guess the Trojan War happened in this game, and there's... There's a construction vehicle in the back there. Um, this is my fairy, Tabitha. What what brings you all the way to Botudgel? Uh, I'm here on business. In fact, I'm headed to Botudgel City to meet with King Telkar Vinecon right now. Uh, however, as you can see, I'm in a bit of a pred uh, predicament and I'm worried I'll be late. Oh no, you won't be late. Botudgel City's just down the road. Follow me, I'll take you there. Oh no, no, no. It's not that kind of predicament. You see, I can't travel down the road at all. Why not? Because you see... There's a tortoise on the road ahead of me. I cannot pass the tortoise. Oh, brother. But Achilles, you're the greatest of all Greek warriors. Surely you should be able to pass this very slow tortoise. Let me explain. Now, hear me out. Let's suppose that I can run ten times as fast as the tortoise can walk. Now, stay with me. Let's also say that the tortoise is ten meters ahead of me on the road. Stay with me. Okay. Now, in the time it takes me to get to the point where the tortoise started, the tortoise would have traveled one meter. Got it? Because I'm running ten times as fast, follow? I guess, but... Now, good, now, hear me out. I'm still one meter behind the tortoise, so I have to run another meter. Right? Now, stay with me. Here. In the time it takes me to run a meter, the tortoise will walk a tenth of a meter or ten centimeters. Now, hear me out. Stay with me. <laughs> okay, this is... I'm still 10 centimeters behind the tortoise, so now I have to run another 10 centimeters. Following me? Now hear me out. Stay with me. Hear me out. In the time it takes to run 10 centimeters, the tortoise will walk one centimeter. And I'm still one centimeter behind the tortoise. Stay with me, huh? Hear me out. And I'd run one centimeter. But in the time it takes me to run one centimeter, the tortoise runs one millimeter. Stay with me, here. Huh? Then I run one millimeter, but the tortoise has already run a tenth of a millimeter, and so on and so on forever. You see, I can never catch up with the tortoise because there are infinite number of lengths I have to run. Diddy, this guy's a nutcase. Let's get out of here. Wait a second, Tab. I don't think he can pass the tortoise. Oh my god, Diddy, come on. Why wouldn't he be able to pass the tortoise? Because he has to run an infinite number of lengths to catch the tortoise. Diddy, don't you think... You know what? Forget it. Not worth arguing. Talk to the nut if you want. Achilles, I can't help you with your predicament, but maybe there's someone who out there who, who can. I'll keep an eye out for anyone who can help you. That's very kind of you, my young... You will know where to find me. Whoa! Watch the heel, buddy! That's my office. You can't go in there. I have lots of records I need to keep organized.
man, this the speed boot is is really um, dangerous to use. A slight bump and you're you're done. Oh no. <laughs> you know what? I'm fine with that. God willing, library side quest will be released as downloadable content. Uh, I, for one, cannot wait. Spinner moat coffee. Fuck. Hi, welcome to Spinner Moat Coffee. Can I have your name? It's Diddy. What will you be having today, Mr. Lars? <sighs> Our corporate office requires me to tell you that you are welcome to remain in this establishment even if you do not order anything. Next! Wow. Alright, great. House of Sparring. My name is J. Liam Archibald Smith Grimwald Arch Jr. The N is Liam is pronounced. Liam. -an. I hope you will respect my preferred pronunciation of my name, but frankly, I'll be happy if you just don't tell my parents I work here. What would you like to buy? <laughs> uh, actual Brian with a Q. Yeah. Sunshine. That's enough of that. Sex. Now that I've got your attention, I have some personal items I want to sell since I'm leaving the university. A futon. A Victrola with some vinyls from the famous metal band Anthro Rush. A book carrying case, never used. A deluxe book of helpful information on the university student, never opened, pages uncut. Missing. The University of Chingame Star Trek Fan Club. Details below. Is that in Vulcan? <laughs> that was Klingon? Are we, really? I thought it was more angular than that. It is Klingon? I should know these things, shouldn't I? Read it, coward. It says... Alright. I, of course, I've watched episodes of Star Trek. I know how to... Translate that. Okay, so it says... Sir... A hollow blue plastic barrel has fallen upon my spine. I wish for you to kill me. Have my eight-year-old son ritualistically give me suicide using the family knife that has killed my grandfather, my great-grandfather, his grandfather before him, and has given me the scar I received in combat. It is called the Makta. And it has no honor. What is this insipid nonsense? Oh my god, it, it really, it's just a, it's a, it's a college. This is where you buy stationery. My name is Ethan 
Miller Goldstein the third. Ethan is spelled with an acute accented Y, which means it's the accented syllable, and the third is always spelled out. It it, it never uses a numeral. Thank you for your observance of my preferred spelling. Thine, what would you like to buy? My name is Ethine. Is it Ethine? This is the snack bar. My name is <laughs> Shelly. There's a hyphen between Shell and Lee, and Lee is not capitalized. Please note this. <laughs> what kind of yogurt would you like to buy today? <laughs> Why is this funny to me? <laughs> Frozen yogurt? We were in... It's Ethan. Is it Ethan or Ethine? Oh, it's Jesus fucking Christ. It is the Brian bit. It really is. It's the Brian bit, like, on crack. Vinny, will you be playing more of this? I, oh God, I don't even. I may, maybe. Apparently, the game is only like four to five hours long, so that's good for me. You know, there's a lot of reading here that I'm sure you can get a lot of enjoyment out of. Um, you know, some some people here will want to read all the lore. I'm I'm not really down for that. Sorry. Wondering what you do here. This is the registrar's office. We record grades, supply transcripts, and issue degrees. You would know this if you'd gone to orientation. What do you want, young man? I'm um, just going around talking to everyone because it's a game and that's what you're supposed to do. Well, this is the bursar's office. I'm the person you talk to when you need to give money to the university. Do you need to give me money for any reason or do you just want to give me money for no reason? No, then you need to go talk to someone else. Fuck. Hey, developer, um, this is your beta tester, not me. You know, I'm doing a bit. Uh, but you, you can clearly see the speed boots are totally broken. And the developer was like, good. Greetings, this is the University Apparel. I am Emma Lee Kensington Klein the Younger. The part spelled Lee is silent, and Emma is accented on the second syllable. Thank you in advance for your correct pronunciation of my name. So it's Emma Kensington Klein the Younger. What would you like to buy? <laughs> Aviator goggles? Oh, God. My uh, this is the Muskrat Alchemy, the uh, official alchemy service of the University of Chingame. I can concoct an alchemy recipe for you. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Well, for me, what I'm getting from this is... You know, the college names reminds me of the hipster shit that I saw at that mixology bar. And like, just the hipster kind of thing in general. And also, like, the weird names, like, um, Caleb, spelled with a Q. But that's just my opinion. Hey, my dude. Welcome to the Mixology Bar. My name is Caleb. <laughs> yeah. Like, the yeah, with the parents who just, like, have to, the, they name them with the slightly weird, you know, spellings. Hello there, my good traveler. My, my name is Donnelly. I guess I should tell you that it's spelled as one word, even though it's pronounced as two words, but honestly, I don't care. I'm not from around here. Apparently, <laughs> what? Apparently, you look like you're in a hurry to go somewhere like I am. 
I can't go right now because I have to stay and finish college, but um, I'll be out of here faster than you can spell my name. Lucky for you, you can travel right now. This is the port. We can take you to any other river port. 10 miles flat rate, cash only. You can go to Botudgel, Boring, sure, and... Uh, is this location real or just an illusion? Does it matter where we are? Oh, brother, why don't you spend the next four years in this awful place and try to tell me the location doesn't matter? It also matters because you need to go somewhere and give me 10 miles so I can make my commission and get a nice place when I finally get out of here. I think I'll stick around here for a while. You must love suffering. Dial-up tone? How do you... You know when a 56k pronounces... Uh, pronounce... Wow. You know when a 56k connects to the internet? Does anyone remember that sound? How, how do you pronounce that as a name? Oh, no! God. There we go. Just need to get over on the, the other side of the river. <laughs> oh my God. Just want to. There's a building up there. Yeah. It's a building. All right. We can't use speed boot. I have to go. It's it's getting late. Like I'm tired. But I'm kind of curious to see what's up here. Still has not been gameplay, mind you. I don't think the game gives a single fuck. I mean, listen, it is gameplay. I am playing. There is game. There has not been combat. Let's put it that way. Stop. For what purpose do you come to the gates of the Baron Chateau? I'd like to have an audience with Baron Ran, please. Well, you can't. Not unless you're a graduate of the University of Chin Game. A graduate of Chin Game? Why? Because the Baron of Chin Game will not condescend to speak to anyone who isn't a graduate of the University of Chin Game. So, if you don't have a degree, you better scram. Well, as a matter of fact, I am a graduate. I bet he has a massive so chin. Let me in. Sure, we'll let you in. Just as soon as you come back with proof that you're a University of Chin Game graduate. Yeah, because we don't remember you. We know almost everyone who went to the University of Chin Game over the last few years. But we don't remember you. If, if you did go to the University of Chin Game, you were probably one of those dorks who had a lot of fun and never went to any cocktail parties to discuss academics. So if you want to have an audience with the Baron, you better come back with a transcript showing that you graduated. Well, I, we know what to do. We just have to go to college, which is weird because I had a college dream last night. Mm. Um, here's a question. How the fuck do I save the game? You're going to have to earn a bachelor's degree. It takes four years to earn a bachelor's degree. I mean, it's a bit longer than most main tasks, uh, quest tasks. But that's no reason we to think we'd run out of time. So get to studying. You need to go to the registrar's office in Eurus Hall to sign up for classes. This is a stupid tab. I'm going to try to get the registrar to give me a replacement degree instead. Try to speed boot into the chateau. Maybe it's possible. Um, yeah, so this game is, is insane, like just utterly insane. Dave just said, I dreamt that Norm Macdonald came out with a new book called I Wasn't There, where he waxes philosophic about a bunch of world history, it always ends what he says, but I wasn't there, I don't know. That's actually kind of genius. Like for him, yes, that's that sounds like a, a Norm thing that he would have done. I miss Norm. I mean, I didn't know him. I wasn't there, but.
So let's see if we find a way to save the game. Oh, we found a way to save the game. Isn't that nice? Before it crashed, too. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll come back to this. I, again, I don't think the game is that long. I just need to, like, mentally and verbally prepare myself to play this, because I didn't realize how much reading it would be. Um... Yeah, it, it's entertaining. I think there's parts... Excuse me, there's parts of it... ...that are, like, about to lose me. And then some of it takes itself weirdly serious for a parody game. And then there's stuff that I enjoy and laugh. And um, regardless of the fact that I have not even used a weapon in this game other than to miss a target, there's a part of me that really wants to just see what's next. So, I don't know. I guess if chat liked it, that's good. And there's a chance I will check it out more of it in the future. I just have to, like I said, I have to prepare for it. But... It's been eight long years. And the game is out. And you can see all that development time went into the lore. Yes! Get fucked! Vinny, will you be giving out the keys now? Um, I guess so. Uh, hang on a minute. This could take a little time, right? I mean, don't type anything yet, chat. It's not, the keyword is not ready. We're not ready. Um, the keyword is actually going to be exclamation mark Diddy, D-I-T-T-Y, all lowercase. Anti-spam is enabled. Do not type it more than once. Go. If you want a key for this game for some reason, um, you know, type exclamation mark Diddy in the chat and uh, you will have an opportunity to win a key. So I'm going to, you know, draw a number of, of winners and I'm going to try to, are there DMs still on Twitch? Did they get rid of that? They still have whispers. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to whisper you the key. Be sure to save it. Um, I think we're ready. No DMs, whispers only. That's fine. Okay, so um, here's how many keys I have. Let me find out real quick. I have three. Okay. So, first winner is Bubskabulba. <laughs> what a name. Bubskabulba. How do I whisper? Messages. Um, I, I don't know if I can whisper through Nightbots. Thing. Let me see. Uh, chatty doesn't make it easy. W slash W bub skeb bulb ba message. Bub skeboba, let me know if you got that whisper. All right, next winner is Odd Rhombus. OK, 
Okay, so Odd Rhombus, I'm going to send you this key. This is to be redeemed on Steam. So it's Odd Rhombus. It's been a while since I raffled off any keys. Odd Rhombus, please let me know if you got your whisper. And um, it should work. If it doesn't, you should complain to the developer of Diddy of Carmiana. And finally, last winner, Mr. Mr. Zero. You know what? I might have... Odd Rhombus, I sent you the wrong key. Odd Rhombus, check your whispers one more time as you now have the correct key. Use the second one only. Isn't that cool? So, all right, Bub Skabulba, Odd Rhombus, Mr. Mr. Um, can you just do me a favor and whisper me back when you redeemed it and let me know if it worked? Because that would be really helpful. Since I fucked up and sent the wrong, <laughs> the wrong key. But I mean, it is nice for the dev to send me, to send me that. Uh, yeah. Why did you do this? I don't know. Well, hey, everybody, real quick. While I'm waiting for whispers, it should work. Can you whisper again? Didn't get it. There's got to be a better way to do this. I swear to God. Try now, Mr. Mr. Bub Sabulba Skabulba said it worked. Thank you. Odd Rhombus, I'm going to whisper you one more time. Let me know if you got that whisper. The second whisper isn't loading for me. How about how about the, the third one? How about the fourth one? Cool, cool whisper system you got here, Twitch. Vinny, will you play Orc Massage? What the fuck are you talking about, chat member? All right. Orc Massage. I just Googled it. 3D simulation game. Adult simulation game. Orc, mas orc Massage. Um... Something is very wrong with this game because it doesn't even load. Oh, it's like sex. Oh, 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 it's just pure. Booty, will you play orc massage? I go and it's just big fucking green orc cock. And uh, like fully naked people. There's an, a, a goblin in a suit who I guess runs the massage parlor. Where's that finger going? That's not part of the massage. That's not part of the massage. Oh my... Goblin. Oh god, I swear to god, if me even searching this... Like, skews my results... On, on Steam, I'm gonna be pissed. Hey, Odd Rhombus and Mister, can you whisper me back? Please? Because... Anything? Just let me know that, that this works, because I want to go to bed. <laughs> Vinny still didn't get it, don't worry about it. Oh. How about now, mister? I just sent you, like, ten messages in a row. Let me know if you got that. Mine worked. Okay, Odd Rhombus, you're good. How about you, mister? Could have whispers disabled. Yeah, there's got to be a better way to do this. Maybe maybe there's some kind of other, like, thing. Oh, wait, mister got back to me. Got it, thanks. Go to sleep. All right. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for watching. 
Um, have a good night. And thank you. Zelda 2 Enhanced Edition will continue at some point. I'm going to do Lego Star Wars this week. I got plenty of one-off stuff. And I also um, would like to finish this in some future moment. I don't know when. It's not going to be soon. Maybe a week or two. Excuse me. And, uh... I also had an, a couple other games, some classic ones, planned, but that's for another time. Okay, goodbye, and thank you for the subs, everybody. As usual, I do not call them out, but I really appreciate everybody's um, support. Even just all the follows I got today was nice. Thank you. Goodbye. See you next time. <laughs>